<laughs> Hello, welcome back. Um, this is probably the second part of this morning's vlog. Uh, can't believe the amount of people that have come down here. This guy lives here. Lucky him, look, lucky him, he lives here. Never gets sick of seeing this, he says. Um, yeah, this is probably the second part. You may have seen uh, last week's vlog. I was down at the lake just back there. Um, and the last thing I said, I think, was we we're going to head up, go up to the viewpoint and land to Lindinas. Well, I never made it that far. We came up to the first, uh, well, lay-by really, behind me. And we decided to come up and shoot some longer shots. I've had the 100 to 400 on uh, the camera for the last... Oh, oh, get on there. From the last hour. And we've just been watching the light going over. Uh, got lots of really nice images, absolutely stunning shots. Don't get to see the light like this very often. So uh, yeah, that's what we've been doing. And I decided I thought I'd better run back and get you and bring you down and sort of fill you in, tell you what we're doing. Um, Gary's obviously still with me. And uh, we've still got this lovely guy here as well. Jonathan, it's Jonathan, wasn't it? Mark. Mark, Mark, Jonathan was the other guy. Yeah. And we've still got Mark with us as well, so. So far, so good, and it's been uh, glorious. These mountains today, this morning, are absolutely fantastic. Give Gary his keys back, and the, and the lenses in the old pocket. You, the beauty of having a coat with large pockets. Look at that, that was in my pocket. <laughs> He's got big pockets, so look, if you're ever in the car and you just want to run over to the grass, stick your lens in your pocket. You know me, rough and ready as ever. Um, so yeah, this is what we've been shooting pretty much, that in front of us, look at that. Absolutely, absolutely stunning. That's the Snowdonia Bowl. Uh, you've got Snowdon, which you can't see the top of at the moment, but the light's just been coming over the top. Uh, there's light over this side at the moment, and it's just been drifting across, and every so often you get little pockets of light in different areas, and I just can't help myself. I've been shooting shot after shot after shot after shot, shot after shot after shot after shot, shot after shot after shot after shot. Um, it's just changing all the time and it's just stunning at the moment no filters are all in the car which is back over there um, I've got the 100 and then I've got the 24 to 105 on and the 100 400 in my bag and it's just flicking between the two I've just shot this image here which is really I think quite nice um, I've got the boulder down here boulder there you've got this bit of snow which is sort of leading you up through the image and it's taking you up then with Snowden behind it Snowden's quite small in the frame again but it gives you some foreground, the rocks are key to the bottom of the image and then the lines leading you through which take you down, take your eye through the image. Uh, vertical, I've shot two brackets. I've bracketed the exposures for the mountain, uh, one under, one over, um, to give you the right exposure because you've got the bright parts obviously which are the snow and then the darker parts and then, or the darker parts being the foreground and then I've focused on the foreground and shot another three the same. Um, I'm going to try and stitch all six together and bring out the texture in all the in all the shadow area and all the highlight area and uh, then obviously blend them together to get the focus stack in. Um, I think it'll be quite a nice image. Um, yeah, I think it will. It's been a lot of shot from here, so I'm going to give you a bit of a bit of a photo, bit of a photo uh, slideshow now and uh, show you a few of these images from over there. This could be a very 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 short vlog, which would be a very surprise if it is. Um, but yeah, enjoy these images and I'll come back to you in a little while and uh, see if I can find something a bit interesting. We came, we came through the gate and we're just going to wander down. There is a river down here, so maybe I can walk down and find the river and get this shot leading down with the river in it. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, absolutely buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. Beautiful, beautiful conditions.
just um, just flick you around so I can see what I'm doing. Just trying to walk around really and try and find. Uh, oh, maybe not my tripod over. Stay. It's not very good, is it? Oh, can you see me? Yeah, just walking around trying to find some lines really, trying to find something that takes you through to the mountains. It's gone very grey down there. Um, but it did that a few times, so we just sit around and wait. This looks interesting, look, great big, almost like a pathway. I've just tried not to walk in it, I just realised I was walking down it as I was going to thinking about using it. So I've come off and stood on the grass. So this could potentially be a, an image to, to use. And behind me I've got a nice little river. What about that? That's quite nice, isn't it? So yeah, I'm, I'm, this is quite nice. Even from sort of a bit further down this way. I can actually compress it so I can use that as a lead in and then have this line there of uh, grass and then the mountains behind it. So that might be another way of looking at it. So I might set the camera up here and uh, see what it looks like through the lens. Because you can't always tell until you're looking through the camera. So I'll tell them to, to come around this way so they don't walk on this fresh snow. Uh, even though I've got a boot mark down there, but I'll have to clone that one out um, and see what I can make of this one. It's yeah, it's got an arc. I quite like the arc, so let's set the camera up and have a look and see what it works like and not stand in the snow. This is beautiful! <laughs> got a light here. Look at that. And the light behind me. Let's see if we can show you the light, because you can't see very well on this camera, can you? Let's see if I can wind this down and show you the light behind me. That's plus, let's go down to minus. Look at that, up here. And that's what it's like. And back there, See over the top of that van over there it's just absolutely bonkers bright bright patches of light um, just creeping up everywhere all right let's come back come back come back there you are nope oh I'm not really good at this am I yeah see it back to zero camera out because we're getting some more light up there back in a sec come over the river which was very slippy underfoot but I've just been uh, having a bit of a mooch round and a bit of a recce and I found this down here which I like and the lights changing all the time now so I'm gonna have to put you down I'm not sure if you can see me from there hopefully you can um, yeah I want to get down nice and low here because there's some lovely rocks in the foreground with some green lichens on them and in between the snows really quite nice uh, and then there's a rock in front of it which I'll show you at the moment and the rock in the front is, uh, oh, so let's get, I'm trying to think while I'm talking. And the rock in the front sort of is sticking up, it's all jagged. Um, so it sort of mimics the mountains a little bit. And the light again just came out and it lit up the little path, lit up the little path that was in front of us. So that was quite nice. Uh, let's have a look, let's have a look. Gosh, that was a, a good guess. What a lovely position that is. Right, I'm going to take this before the light changes, so just bear with me a moment. Focus on the foreground, and I'm going to focus on the distance, or mid-ground, F11, and that was at ISO 100. That'll do for just a, a base image. Right, let's concentrate on you. Um, come around this side, let me show you what I'm doing. Right, sorry about that, that was a bit, not sure if you could see me or not when I was talking for that. Right, what am I, talk what am I doing, what have I got in front of me? Uh, three boulders, got one down in the bottom corner, in the right hand corner, I can't quite get it in from this position, I may creep back a little bit, Let's see if I can get back a little bit without getting barbed wire. Let's see if I can get that one in, go wide, 24 mil. I can't quite get that one in, so I'm gonna go back where I was, because I like the two that are in front of me. Um, We've got this nice 
diagonal sort of leading or arch of a leading from the snow and as you can probably see and hear it's snowing again um, let me concentrate what I'm doing I'm just thinking while I'm thinking out loud do that up do that up but I've got the camera quite level I've got Snowden bowl in the background again Snowden's been quite small in the images um, but I quite like it it's nice I'm concentrating more on the foreground rather than just zooming in at the moment and getting the, the, the detail shots I've already got detail shots so they're going to be just pretty much similar to what they already are so yeah foreground I've got a boulder in the front with some lichens on it then I've got a larger boulder behind that with some lichens on it behind that I've got this jagged boulder sticking up so I'm going to have to bracket my exposures because that is really dark compared to the light and the light's just coming out on the mountain let's do a focus stack so I'm just being prepared and keeping one eye on that mountain if you don't keep an eye on the light it comes and goes so quickly yep we're all right right let's flick this over to uh, and bracket me exposure one over one under should be all right Get back on the live view and I'm just gonna set that up in the mid tones and get that even oh I'm on off let's get back on that one I'm on bulb now I've got what am I doing manual right there we go so set it up for the mid tones which is about even histograms quite well balanced it's not clipping the highlights so I should have one overexposed and one underexposed, um, which should be okay. Right, I'm going to focus on the foreground, and as soon as that light comes back into shot, hit the shutter button, focus on the foreground, uh, focus on the distance, and hit the shutter button again. Uh, so now it's just a case of waiting, and waiting it will be. Oh, some light over here on the right. So we've got to watch this light now and see if it comes across, and just follow it across. Definitely not going to get any light on your face again because there's a big grey cloud behind you. Awesome, absolutely awesome. You've got to be in it to win it. <laughs> I've just moved over. Just moved over a little bit further. Um, I prefer this one as well. Well, I don't know if I prefer this one as well. I prefer this one, uh, I think, to the first one. I can now see the rock in front of me a little bit better because I'm away from the grass um, and now I've got four rocks in front of me so I've got one right down keying it in on the bottom corner in the right hand corner um, I've then got three other rocks in front of me all with green lichens on and they're actually coming in an arc takes you over to the next rock and then takes you up to the mountains so uh, the mountains are let's just move it up a little bit the mountains are right up on the high thirds um, even a bit higher than that maybe but the snow, snow takes you through the image. We've got snow in the background. I'm bracketing the shots. There's some light up on the top corner now. Um, bracketing the shots, one over, one under. Um, and to keep this com composition set up now and just wait and wait and wait. I'm just gonna sit here and wait now until that light comes over. It's absolutely spectacular. It's really, really nice. So that's the composition. All I've got to do now is get the light and we'll be done. Now I'm not telling him what to do, I know I've done that in the past, it's just we're trying to keep out the snow that's in front. And he's very precious about And I'm very footprints. precious about my footprints. <laughs> going down the side. Just watch the fence, got barbed wire on. Right, I'm just gonna have a wander down the side of this fence. Oh, aren't we, aren't we a bit close? <laughs> That's better. Right, I'm gonna have a bit of a wander down here. The lichens on these rocks, really nice. Try not to step on anything there's got to be another image down here um, and I'm keeping to the fence so we don't step through the through the frame now I'm wondering whether something like this because we've got this lovely patch of snow down here how nice is that and there's some rocks with lichens on it and there's bits that lead you through the image just put the camera down 
again constantly looking for lines and you can see down here you've got boulder there's all these boulders and again they take you through and you've got a patch of grass and another boulder the other side so again that's a natural leading from both sides even this one natural leadings that are already there that you can use to send your you know send your viewers eye down the frame and that's kind of what you look for well, kind of what i look for anyway um and when they've got lichens on them like these uh they look pretty cool let's come down here and show you look at this absolutely stunning popping out the greens just pop out the rocks beautiful the light's a bit fleeting now though unfortunately um, there's more gray than there is light patches so i think i might call it in a little while um, and just go for a drive around and go and have a look for something else uh, if anything else it's a recce it's going out and having a look and seeing where we can get exposures from uh, for next time gary he's, he's been through the, he's been all through the country but he's never really stopped and done much um, so yeah it's, it's worth having a good recce and seeing where you can put your tripod next time which direction the light's coming in so yeah it's pretty good I might set up and take one here anyway. I'm going to take it. So I've taken it and I know what the lines look like. Um, it probably wouldn't work in the sun um, when there's no snow because it's the snow that's dividing the dark to the light, which is giving you that line. When the snow's gone, it's just going to be green grass. So the green grass will probably blend in with the rocks a bit more. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's worth an image, I think. Even if it's just a keepsake and I don't, don't show it off. And I've got to watch this barbed wire on the fence as well. It's not very nice. Right, I'll set a composition up here. I'll use these boulders. If anything, I might even take a couple of detail shots because I like the colours on them and the texture and the snow. So I might even take a couple of detail shots. I'll bob them up in a moment and show you. And uh, yeah, enjoy these. And uh, I might call it a day after that. So hold on there five minutes and we'll see. Still stood waiting. We've been waiting here now for a good 10, 15 minutes, but behind you, the light's coming down the mountain. Let's just show you behind you. See that? The light is coming down the mountain. <laughs> and I'll be waiting when it does. Uh, I've taken a few exposures. I've taken a few shots down at the mountain because the sun's still on the mountain, which is brilliant. Um, I think any minute now, in the next few minutes, there's a big gap of blue above us. I think this is all going to light up in front, so it's going to be pretty good. Um, I can feel the warmth, I can feel the, the, the light changing. All over that side now starting to change. Got this massive big gap in the cloud, so hopefully this is all going to light up. And I'm ready. Got my exposure still set up. I've taken a few shots already of the same exposure, just with the sun in slightly different positions. If you stood and wait and the light come out here, and then the light come out over there, and the light come out in the distance, you can take three different images and then paint the light back in. Um, I don't know whether people always, it's not, not everyone agrees with that. Um, it's still the same image, but it's three images blended together. Um, if you can get it all in one, better still. That up there now is looking really, really nice. This is where I think we need to be over there on the river. Now the light's coming out. You can see the light's coming out. I'm gonna have to get this now. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Bracket it shots. Three different exposure positions. Oh. Blowing up my highlights now because it's got so bright. I'm going to back the highlights down. Where are we? Back the highlights down. Take another three shots. One. One in the mid-ground. And one in the foreground. Yes. Top stuff. And if we can do it, let's flip the camera over. Flip the camera over. We're going to have to go a bit higher and a bit wider see if we can get a horizontal shot as well while the sun's on it just looking fantastic look at that take one there one at the back and why am i'm going to go and get my selfie so we're going to bob it over onto 10 second timer 10 second timer take this off my shoulder get in the image run through the snow That's it, should be selfie done. Footprints in the snow now. 
<laughs> Absolutely love it. got to do now is make my way back up this way and uh, we'll go back to the car and I think we're going to head up head up towards the viewpoint and go and have a look at Snowden nice and close up with the snow on it oh yes excuse me while I'm walking over this stuff so I think I'm going to call it there and uh, makes a change for me to just do something a little bit shorter but it's probably still turned out a longish one hopefully you've enjoyed that it was a bit of a rush job for me to be honest because um, I wasn't actually going to plan on vlogging this bit, I was just going to get my camera out and enjoy taking a few photographs. Uh, but the other two said, oh, you're not getting any camera out. So I did. Um, let's try if I can get down here without falling. Ooh. And I've got to get back across the river. So uh, let's get across this river and then I'll carry on talking to you when I'm on the other side. Ooh. <laughs> I know, you all thought I was going to fall in then, didn't you? Not today. Yeah, no, this is fantastic. Absolutely loving this morning. Uh, as you saw, I was out this morning from last week. Where's Gary gone? Oh, he's up on the road. Right. So I'm going to work my way back through this, this lot. Bear with me. There's a gate up here somewhere. Here we go. Right, let's go back through the gate, back down to the car, get a mouthful of my coffee if it's still warm, and then uh, on to the next location. So yeah, I'll call it here. Thanks for watching, and uh, please share and like the video maybe, if there's anything of interest in there for you. Uh, if not, I'm sure there will be in one of the others. So, uh, till next time, ciao for now, bye. Right, I know I've just said goodbye, but stop press, hold everything. Guess what? I've just been recognised again. That's free! That's the hat trick, man. How brilliant so can that be? Everybody <laughs> loves him, that's the point. Everybody loves me! Oh! Your name is, sir? Ian Robertson. Ian Robertson. Lock me up. Look him up. Don't forget, look him up. I'll give you the money in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> now, honestly, this is absolutely buzzing. I can't believe I'm coming to Wales more often because there's definitely more people over here that like me, that's for, or know me, not like, they don't necessarily like me. But yeah, absolutely buzzing. Anyway, I said goodbye, so ciao. See you later. Bye. <laughs>